Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here to do another pick a card reading. So today's theme or subject is going to be what are they thinking or feeling right now? So if you have a person you're wondering about, then we're going to get some insight on your situation, maybe even some advice in this situation. Um, we're using a number of different cards. We're using one card from the Messenger Oracle, one card from the Romance Angel Oracle, a couple cards from the Rider Weight Classic Tarot deck, um, one card from the Gypsy Lenormand deck, and two cards from my channel Loving Messages deck, which is available for purchase if you're so inclined. Um, you can find the link down below. Um, so the icons that you have to choose from today, the first reading is going to be the Rose. The second reading is the Glittery Hearts. And the third reading is the Unicorn. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second, let you focus on which icon you're drawn towards, and then we will see what is this person thinking or feeling. Okay, so if you chose the first reading, the rose, let's see what your person is thinking and feeling. Let's save your channeled messages for last. So that's something that they would want to say to you. Okay. Ooh, we've got the jealousy card. We've got the queen of swords. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Love Yourself First. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And finally, Be Patient, card number two. All right, so advice already for number one. Be patient in this situation. Um, it could be that, um, this person really does love you quite a bit and for some reason this person is jealous so it could be that maybe um, this person thinks that maybe you are unfaithful or maybe this person um, is just really possessive of you and gets very jealous um, of anybody that is around you this person deep down I think this person could harbor feelings of inadequacy or just feeling like they they're comparing themselves to other they just feel like they're not good enough um, you know so deep down jealousy is coming from a pay a place of insecurity, intending to um, compare yourself to others. So this person, they could be angry if they're, they're jealous, you know, it could make them very uncomfortable, it could make them insecure, and this could be a negative thing that they're um, reflecting, you know. So when you talk to them, they could be um, maybe trying to act overly confident um, or they could be um, just focusing on maybe your weaknesses maybe trying to make you feel like um, or, or bring you down to their level it could be that this person um, really it's it's um, it is a strong emotion. Jealousy is a strong emotion of love, but also it can be a negative thing. So this person, I think they really need to work on loving themselves more. Um, 
it could be that this person has so many insecurities that you guys are not able to be together right now this person um they could worry that you know you're not attracted to them or um maybe you just want to be friends with them but this person definitely wants to be in a romantic connection with you this person really has a lot of love emotions involved in this you know this person is in love with you and they could kind of make you put your guard up with the queen of swords here i'm getting that this person um you know if this person has been aggressive towards you or pushy towards you you could be feeling like you know you have to put your sword up you have to protect yourself from this person um, you could worry about this person maybe um, acting out in anger to you or criticizing you because like I said this person they could be doing that you know to make you feel like um, or give you low self-esteem. I mean, that's really sad that this person would feel like they have to do that to maybe drop you down to their level. level, And that's just um, because they are so insecure. You know, when you're around this person, it could seem kind of awkward. Um, it could be really challenging when you're in the presence of this person because they love you so much that they they could act awkward. Um, they could be very jealous, so there could be underlying anger there. So this could really be you putting up your boundaries with this person and spending time on yourself, um, maybe not worrying about this person for a while. Because during this period, I think, work on loving yourself. Ultimately, you know, if this person is not trying to help you to make you more confident then I don't know if this would be a good partnership although this person does love you um, you want to attract loving people in your life so that you can have a healthy relationship where you can have mutual respect for each other and I think um, you have to it's necessary for you to um, maybe be patient with this person if you do love them in return be patient with this person um, while they work through those self-confidence issues it could be a really a fear that you could leave them for another person um, or maybe they know that you've been with other people maybe you guys have been separated and they know that you've been with other people and um you know they're scared that if they fall in love with you which i think they've already done that they would end up getting hurt so they they put up these defenses to protect themselves they could push you away to protect themselves or hurt you to protect themselves um, really because this person does love you I mean fear is something that this person wouldn't feel that if they weren't um, wanting to be with you so it could be that um, keep yourself open to maybe other people because you want to be in this caring relationship where you feel loved and cherished and I don't think this person um, is doing that if they can take responsibility for what they've done because they feel like um, they've acted in jealousy they could have said things to you so you know if if you really do also have love for this person because you could you know we've got the ace of cups here and you're coming here about this person or they've popped up in this reading it could just say that now is not the time to move forward you know until there's a resolution to the way this person is feeling so right now just be patient and wait um, you can't force anything to manifest before it's time so trust that if this is meant to be it it will be you know so just be still let go of any frustrations or impatience 
and remember that good things come to those who wait so yeah I think this person um they have a lot of doubts and they have a lot of fears and that's what holds them back from having this relationship with you and they, they do have a lot of insecurities that they have to work through. So let's look at these loving channeled messages from this person before we move on to the next pile. I love your eyes. I get lost in them. You always make me smile. I love your face. So this person, they really, there's something about your eyes that they really love and your face and your smile so your features this person really loves your features so much and that could be you know where this jealousy is coming from from the love and the attraction that they have for you you are the funniest man slash woman I've ever met I always feel safe when I'm around you so this person you make them feel safe you actually make them happy because we get you always make me smile and you are funny so you uplift this person's spirit so you are a positive influence on this person but I feel like their fear their insecurities are something that they have to work on so you can't love anybody till you love yourself and you know I'm pretty sure that's why this card came up so if you want to be patient wait for this person then I feel like um, there could be a possibility to start something new, a new relationship, something like that. But thank you so much for coming. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit that notification bell. If you would like a personal reading, then check out my link to my Etsy below. I have all kinds of different readings that I would love to do for you. Okay, so if you pick number two, the Glittery Heart. Let's see your channeled messages for last and see what this person would want to say. Okay, we've got the Constancy. We've got the Eight of Swords. Oh, we've got the Ten of Swords. We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we've got embrace the masculine, card number 11. Okay, so I do think that this is some sort of soulmate connection. We've got card number 11. 11 to me is, you know, a uh, a soulmate number for some of you it could be twin flame um, but this person has a lot of passion for you um, this person when they think about you um, they get all hot worked up um, they can barely control themselves when they're around you um, you know they have this strong sexual desire for you and when they're around you you know they um, they could experience, you know, um, wanting to do certain things with you, wanting to do intimate things with you. Um, this person really, they, they want you very, very badly. And if something has happened here, because we've got the Ten of Swords, it could be that you and this person, um, there's been some sort of ending, there's been some sort of failure. Um, backstabbing, betrayal, defeat. So something has happened in this connection and um, it's really kind of devastating to this person. Um, I, I really think that this person um, right now they, they there's nothing that they can do because I feel this person is very weak. Um, they they can't do anything but try to pick themselves up you know it's like they have hit an all-time low and you know they're they're like lying face down dead here because it's just whatever happened in this love relationship this is a period of like um destruction or feeling maybe pinned down maybe you told this person um, 
that there were things that you needed to change and this person felt like there was nothing they could do you know they were pinned down they were stuck um, so there's some deep wounds some painful endings that I feel here and um, the eight of swords I feel like you also feel like there's a lot of restrictions um, there could be negative thinking surrounding the situation I really think that um, it could be just fears or anxiety um, of getting trapped or in a relationship or this person could already be in a relationship and feel like um, they're stuck they're trapped this person um, you know they could have a restrictive partner that just won't let them um, do anything like if they they could be the one that just um, doesn't wear the pants in the relationship so, so to speak I was trying to think of a different way to phrase that but I couldn't think of a way so they could be in a relationship and it could be that they have a partner that's restricting them from being able to do what they want that could be for some of you out there um, but there's a lot of issues with this person right now that you're feeling that you're asking they're feeling um, a lot of concerns honestly with the constancy card I think that this person they could constantly think about you um, and that could be a source of deep pain too um, if there's been some kind of breakup between you guys and this person feels like um, you've gone away then their feelings are still unchanged they still have this passion and love for you they're they're loyal they're not going anywhere um, they're firm in their thoughts of you and if they're stuck in you know a restrictive relationship or they're just restricting themselves maybe they're worried about getting into a relationship um, it doesn't take away any of the passion that this person has for you it's permanent it's not going anywhere um, and this person they just could be very weak they could even be crying sometimes I get that with this card this person could be crying because they just feel like the universe isn't supporting them they can't have what they want what they want is you and they don't know how to get it you know um, but I think this person really needs to get into their strength this person um, they need to embrace their masculine and if this person um, isn't doing that then they're not getting what they want you know so like I said they they're taking a back seat in their life they could be letting someone else call all, th all of the shots it doesn't even have to be another person it could be like a a parent figure or something calling all the shots and this person they need to be the leader in their own life they need to be the boss of their own life and this person they need to get into a mindset of being dominant of um, that doesn't mean you have to be mean or um, rude you can still be gentle compassionate but you have to be assertive in your life you have to know when to act and act with authority and stand up for yourself and what you want and I feel like this person isn't doing that they need to stand up for what they want and stop restricting things where there shouldn't even be restrictions this person is they're they're self-imposing restrictions in this connection so really you know I guess this person needs to man up so so to speak is what I'm getting here so let's read the channeled messages from this person what would they say to you if they could if they could embrace their masculine if they could be brave powerful courageous which I don't feel like they're any of those things okay you have such a good heart you are way too good for me so this person could be worried that 
you know, you you have ended things with them that, you know, you've moved on to better things. So they see that you have a good heart and they know that you will find someone else. I love your crazy side and how you aren't afraid to so show it. You're sexy and exciting to me. So yeah, this person really thinks that you are sexy and exciting. If you showed them this crazy side that you have, um, I don't know what your crazy side is. We all have different crazy sides to us, but it could be that, you know, they think that is the best side of you, whatever it is that you do that um, they might think is a little bit crazy. They like it, you know, they like it. Um, maybe it's going out having too many drinks or something like that. They love that side of you. That side of you um, is the best side. Maybe it's weird habits that you have. They also have maybe these weird habits. Um, whatever it is, this person, its there's a lot of commonalities between you and this person. And there's a lot of passion between you and this person. But I'm sorry to say that this person really they need to embrace their masculine side before anything can happen in this connection um, because they're they're making mountains out of molehills if you've ever heard that expression they're making problems where there shouldn't even be problems I mean they need to do something so that's what I'm getting if you pick number two thank you so much for coming if you would like a personal reading the link to my Etsy is down below. I would love to do a reading for you. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick the unicorn, let's see, what is this person thinking, feeling? Let's save these channeled messages for last. Okay, we've got the officer. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the High Priestess. We've got Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. And we've got Challenge Your Perception, card number five. So in this connection, I think that um, There are some restrictions. There are um, some challenges, and I feel like you're struggling right now to stay optimistic about your love life. It could be that you have offers coming in from people, um, you know, messages from people, and. I feel like there's a lot of people that really do love you and some of those people could come across as um, like they're hiding their feelings and maybe you are aware of it because we've got the high priestess here. Um, so you could be aware that there's people that want to be with you or this person wants to be with you but at the same time um yeah why do they feel that they can't show you and that could be your question as well um why won't they show you is it like this person um feels like they have to always be strong you know or this person could actually maybe feel like the other man. It could be another man or it could be a professional person for even some. And it could be um, a sense of duty. This person could have maybe a sense of duty to be there for you. Maybe they want to protect you. Um, 
but I really do think that there's also love there. So this could be, you know, another man, or this could be just one person, but I feel like wanting to protect you, wanting to love you, but also wanting to protect you. So sensitive, emotional, kind, caring, but also very brave, um, a lot of courage, like a hero type person, a person that wants to maybe save the day. Um, so they could feel that maybe you're going through some things and they wanna be the one to be your rock, you know, be the reliable person, the, the shoulder to cry on. Um, so, you know, I'm really feeling kind of like two energies here. Like one is the masculine person who's courageous, who wants to save the day, who wants to be there to support you. And then we've got another person who um, is loving, you know, wants to send you love messages, has their emotions involved, and maybe wants some opportunity to be romantic with you. So this could be one person with two different sides, or this could be two different people. Um, but if it's your situation, you'll know which one resonates for you. Um, but I really think that you're aware of this. I think that you know um, already that this person has love for you, that wants to be with you. Um, maybe you've gone to tarot readings and other people have told you, you know, and you have this hidden knowledge about this person because you're just a spiritual person. So you find out the truth. You go to readings that tell you things and you have the tools to figure out if this person's going to keep a secret, you're going to know it. So I think that if this person has to try to hide anything from you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You already know how this person feels. Uh, if they're trying to be more of a leader type person, um, that's kind of a front because I think deep down this person has so much love for you and, and they care for you deeply. Um, so maybe it's that you need to change your perspective. Maybe um, if this person felt safe, maybe they would come to you and tell you. Um, maybe they're they're just unwilling to because they're they're they have this fear that you won't understand them or that um i don't know that you would wouldn't understand them i think that you guys aren't on the same page you know i don't think you guys really understand each other or your feelings or Maybe it's, you need to put yourself in this person's shoes and look at it from their point of view and then maybe you can understand the whole situation. So maybe stand in their place and see how things would look from their side because maybe you just think that um, you, you know everything and you're right, which you could be. I mean, if you're the high priestess, you could be right. But maybe this person, the way they perceive things is that they can't approach you as this loving, compassionate person. They have to approach you as this power person. So it really could be maybe you need to look at things differently, um, look at things from a different perspective, put yourself in the other person's shoes, and then maybe you'll see um, how it feels. Isn't that a song? I don't know. If you guys know, put it down in the comments what song that lyric is from because I know that's from some song. So let's look at your loving channeled messages from this person. If you are interested in this deck, um, it is there's a link down below to purchase it. I love making you laugh. You are my best friend. So yeah, this person does have a lot of love for you. Maybe you guys knew each other since you were children, or maybe there's children involved. For some of you, there could be children involved. And um, you guys laugh, have a good time, or previously you guys did. Your soul is beautiful. Hugging you is the only comfort I need. So this person does feel like a friend, you know? 
As far as the intimacy, I think this person doesn't even care about that part. This person, they just want to be your friend. They want to be in your life. If, you know, they can just hug you, that comfort is all they, they need, really need. So you guys could be protective to each other. You guys could both be kind of... Um, Maybe this is like a, taking a risk, starting something new, something innocent, and you know, maybe just start out as friends and then um, just comfort each other, just be there for each other, just show the other person that you do have this beautiful soul, and then maybe they can you know take their hand off their sword like they they won't feel like they have to protect themselves or just be that power person that leader person and they can make that offer that love offer that maybe you've been waiting for but this person just feels like they can't be vulnerable maybe in your presence so that's what i'm getting for you if you pick number three the unicorn Thank you so much for coming to watch my videos. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my up and coming readings. Um, if you have any suggestions, then um, just leave them down in the comment section. Um, if I see something I like, I usually will do it. Um, but yeah, sending you guys love, light, and blessings, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.